should take care of women like you. as far as I can take you. Let's get you home, all right? Yes? I was given this address. Always nice to have a new face around here. My name is Paula. Mary. All who come to this convent must leave behind their former life and possessions. If this is a problem, the door is there for you to return to that which you fled. No. If and when you decide to leave us, your possessions will be returned to you. We operate under strict vow of silence. This keeps us free from distraction and closer to the Lord. We have prayer at 5 a.m., breakfast at 7, chores until 10. You can expect to start out Hi, what are you reading? You don't need to do that. You'll find it doesn't matter if anyone in here likes you. Look at her when she's talking to you. Where is she? Mother's approval is all you should concern yourself with. Thank you, Paula. I think Sarah has chores. Why don't you see to it that she gets to them? Sarah, a sweet but simple young woman who is repaying her debt to us by staying on and helping wherever she can. I think she just likes to look at the pictures of the saints. I don't think she actually reads the text. My name is Mary. Mary. Well, of course it is. While we do spend most of our days in prayer or divine labor, we also make time for leisure activities, such as reading the holy texts in this library. It may take a day or two for you to adjust to our routine, but if you do decide to stay, our schedule will soon become your schedule. If it seems like I'm overly cautious with the bars on the windows and the locks on the doors, it's because I am. We had a break in recently. I don't need to tell you how evil the world is. Doris is seven months along now. What do you pray for, child? For an end to this pain, mother. 
Oh, Doris. <laughs> when will you realize that your pain only brings you closer to him? Do you think that he selfishly prayed for an end to his own suffering? Of course not. He prayed to end the suffering of others. Now. Neil. As you can see, we are going through a bit of a transition. The church in Rome, well, they certainly agree with taking in people like you. Do not agree with my methods, which are strict, but very fair. So they pulled their portrait of the Pope and cut the Vatican purse strings. Maintaining our lifestyle on private donations has been challenging, to say the least, which is why you find our sanctuary in the state that it's in. Right now, however, I would like you to worry only about getting some sleep. You look like you could use a good rest. Focus and clarity are most important for a mother to be. Sleep well. It's OK. Oh, Jesus. We'll hear you. You do not want them to do that. Are we the only ones in here? Not us in here. Out there. They sometimes listen in. Are you serious? They are. And they do not allow talking in the dorms. <sighs> That's how they got Veronica. Who? Girl who used to have your bed. I'm Catherine. Mary. That comes and goes. I think it's rats. You won't hear it after a while. It's not as bad as it seems. And you can talk to me whenever you like. Just don't get caught. She married friend. I wonder how she'd feel. Don't you give it to me, goddammit! Fine. Here. And now you get the fuck out. You were late. Well, you wasn't, was you? Whole goddamn thing was started by the time I even got here. Okay, where are we now? Nearly there. Okay, look at me. God damn. I don't know why you don't just let me kill your pa. Don't talk like that. Well, Mary Lou, I'm sorry, but just anybody's gonna hit his own daughter like that, it's just... Well, I'd rather it be me than William. I talked to him, by the way. Hmm. I got him prepped for when the time comes. Yeah? Yeah. Do you understand? Enough to know that him and his big sister are going on a secret vacation. Secret vacation? Away from your big asshole father. <sighs> oh, Veronica, I've told you on more than one occasion I can get consequences.
do you know you are neither unique or special here? You should enjoy it while it lasts. What? Her interest. She wants to see you in her chambers. Make yourself presentable. None of your concern. I'm just saying that I don't think it should be your disposal. Mary, you remember Father Andrew? It's a true pleasure to see you again, Mary. The hallway, there was a... Uh... Blood? Yes. A rather nasty accident. Clumsy people make clumsy mistakes. We'll clean it up. But the girl, my policies are strict, but they are there for a reason. And I know what it's like to be in your situation. You were pregnant? And your child, well, where? He's a senator. Doesn't even know I exist. Obviously given to a family that could provide him with so much more than I ever could. So. How are you, emotionally? I get by. It's important to keep your mind afloat during this period. It's your greatest tool. Healthy mind, healthy body. That's what your baby needs right now. You're going to be on my strict regimen of vitamins and supplements as long as you're here with us. Thank you, Paula. Poor Paula. She's a little rough around the edges, but you must never take anything she says or does personally. Mary, it's my job to ensure the safety of your child. I only want the best for it, and I know you do, too. After all, that's why you're here, isn't it? I ask you a very simple question. Are you here of your own volition? In other words, and you know that I am certainly not one to judge, I want to know if you're here because you understand that you are not responsible enough to care for the child growing inside of you on your own. I come here because I am responsible and I'm asking for help to bring my child into this world. But I'm not giving up my baby. Well, that's certainly your decision. But while you are here, you will be our postulant. You will live as we do, giving yourself over entirely to the Lord in service and submission. Do you know where that money comes from? The money that puts food in our mouths and keeps the lights on? No, no, I don't. It comes from our sponsors. People who believe, as I do, that women like you simply don't know right from wrong, that you don't have any degree of responsibility, certainly not enough to care for a child on your own, and that you need help. Please don't mistake my gratitude for greed. After all, you've seen the state of things around here. And the other girls are so sloppy. I believe that you could be the blessing we've been waiting for. After all, people want to give to someone like you, someone who gives them hope. I don't feel well, I... And Father Andrew is going to be your divine witness to your commitment to us. Something. Something. Something's all right. Something's wrong. Mary, do you know what happened to my sailboat? No, I don't, but we'll find it in the morning, okay? Remember that secret vacation I've been telling you about? Yeah. We might be going a lot sooner than I thought. You, me, Jimmy, finally away from Dad. Right, I love you. Go to sleep. <laughs>
I said go home. And I tried. I already missed you. Mary. Good morning. I'm so glad to see you up. I thought you were going to sleep all winter. <laughs> what time is it? It's time for a fresh new start for everyone. And Sarah's going to help you with yours. Sarah, what day is it? Wednesday. I don't know, actually. They blend together. Would you mind sitting so I can reach your hair? Do you want a boy or a girl? I'm not sure. I'm not sure of much right now, actually. They say boys are easier to raise than girls. I had a boy when I first got here. <laughs> he died in childbirth. He showed me a picture, though. He was beautiful. I miss you, Jimmy, every day. I suppose it would be redundant to ask if you're staying out of trouble. I am starting to wonder if I made a mistake, but I'm hopeful it's just going to take some time to adjust. Write me back. Tell me you love me and we are doing what's best for our family. She'll read it. Who's it to? The father. Just remember, there's no guarantee she'll send it. Sit down. I don't feel well. I need to. <laughs> you are not excused. Sit down. <laughs> Catherine. Sit down. <laughs> Like to be excused. Yes, of course. You just need to finish your supper. I already did, Mother. Then why am I staring at it all over the table? I... We don't waste food here.
going on. Mary saw something. A face. A face. <laughs> Stop the broken pipes. Mary, I'm still lenient with you because you're fairly new here. I swear, I'm not crazy. And if I recall, don't you also see your dead brother? What did you say? I said, aren't you prone to seeing your little dead brother, the one you murdered in a bathtub? What? No. I want to leave. Oh. I made a mistake, and I, I would like to leave. Absolutely your choice. But don't you think you'll fare better out there with a good night's sleep? Hmm? We're going to bring you something to calm you down, and everyone's going to get a good night's sleep. I don't want it. While you are in this house, you will abide by her rules. Tomorrow, you can return to your life of sin. But tonight, right now, you will take these pills and show some respect to the people helping you. Doris. Doris! 
Rejoice, all of you. Tonight, your slate will be wiped clean. Mary will die tonight so that you may be reborn. But the sins of your past will continue to haunt and destroy you until you submit to our way of life and to me. You do not deserve the name Mary. She was pure. She was innocent. And you are immoral. Corrupt and vile, but I have good news. I have found another. I rename you Agatha. Agatha. Say your name. Who what? are you? Say your name. Eat. <laughs> You're fucking insane. Help me! Oh, please. please. Who are you? Say your name. Who are you? Say your name. Get me out! Please. Who are you? Say your name. Who are you? Say your name. Eat. Eat. She's joking. Let her. Yeah. I said enough. She loses that baby. This was all for nothing. You need to stay calm and remember your baby. Why are you doing this? One must atone for their sin. Oh, you will eat. Just like a little baby bird. No, no, please. No. you say to me? To it. I have nothing here without him. I'm leaving just like mom did. You still ain't slept, have you? I'm not tired. Yeah, I figured. You need to eat something. <sighs> I'm not hungry.
Remember me? Jimmy. I remember you. You two little shits took me for everything that I had. What are we? Oh, hey, you've been busy. We saw. Oh! Oh! Stop! Oh! Stop! Oh! Stop! Oh! Oh! Now. What do you want? Where's my money? Fuck you! I spent it. Bullshit. Stop! It's here. It's here. Fuck. No, 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 Mary, don't. Okay, just take it. <laughs> take it off. That's 20, 30 times what I took off. Shut here. up. Skull, please. You consider that just an asshole. No, stop. You hear me? You have what you want, go. Just about the right price to stop me from killing all three of you. Come. Tell them your name. End this suffering. Who are you? Agatha. Louder. Agatha. Again. Agatha. Sister Helen, a footstool. My child, you came here to give your baby a better life. Now we can let that happen. Come. There we are. All that's left is to rid you of the vestiges of who you once were. What happened to your back? Was it her? She went miss the child. It was my husband. He did this. She did to you, really, I am. But you need to keep your head down. She put me in a coffin. You have to try to do what she says. If you fight her, that coffin will be the least of your worries.
brother. I was supposed to be watching him. He drowned because of me. He haunts me. I can't sleep. You are unwell, Agatha. In fact, you're very, very sick. You're certainly not fit to be anyone's mother. Sometimes I see things. And how does that make you feel? Out of control and helpless. How does your family feel about your situation? They have all abandoned me. I could be dead. They don't seem to care. I need to lay down. I, I don't know what's real anymore. I, I see things. What kind of things? If I told you, you might think I'm crazy. Maybe I am. Maybe you are what? Crazy. They give me migraines. Agatha, what is it? Was I here all night? Yes. I keep seeing things. Why are you dressed like that? The donor breakfast. We eat breakfast with the donors while they judge us. This is wrong. There is no wrong or right in this place. You're just choosing not to see it. I see everything. All of it. And it breaks me every single time. Stop talking. If you let her see how you feel about anything she does to you or anyone you care about. Catherine. She would use it like a knife to cut you even deeper. That's why I keep my fucking mouth shut, Agatha. So should you. Stop talking. No, 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 hell no. Suit kitchen. What? Uh uh. We have nothing. Everything we had was just stolen from us. I got this Kansas City gig coming up. Okay. And what am I supposed to do? Well, how about you come with me? And stay where? You stay with me. Stay with me and the boys. It'd be fun. Half a dozen roughnecks in a rundown motel room. There's four. Five. Is that what you really want? Well, no, it's not what I really want, Mary. But what I really want don't matter. I can't have the mother of my unborn child staying by herself. I'm out of options. What do you want me to do? So you want to leave town and have me follow you around, and then maybe the next town after that? Or do you want to just go alone? Do I want to go alone? Yeah. Yeah, I want to go alone. Yeah. Yeah, you enjoy your supper.
We take care of women like you. You're going to be just fine. They're going to fix you right up. Good as new. The doctor has been called, and he is on his way. Thank you again. Paula, will you see the rights out? No, don't go. Oh, don't go. Paula! No! Oh, Agatha. Get out! Out of my bed! Face <laughs> clean that before it becomes infected. When you disobey me, it stings like salt on an open wound. Just answer the goddamn phone. Operator, I got a little bit of an emergency. Could you give me the address for the phone number I've been trying to reach? All right, thank you. Not you two. Paula tells me that you two are becoming fast friends. I think that's splendid. Did you enjoy breakfast the other morning, Agatha? I thought it was wonderful. <laughs> it's so rare that we allow ourselves such an indulgence. But I think our donors are happy when they see us well-fed and healthy. <laughs> Didn't you enjoy it, Catherine? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, all I will need is to eat a single perfect strawberry as proof of God's love. I wasn't at the breakfast. You weren't? Oh, that's right. You were running around like an insane uh, person. Uh, Sit down. Uh, Embarrassing me in front of our donors. Uh, this entire place runs on their donations, Agatha. Uh, they want to see a healthy, beautiful, intelligent, well-adjusted young woman. They don't want to see someone plagued by demons. They care not for your darkness. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes! Uh. You're just a wise-ass little bitch, aren't you? You will not raise your voice in the house of the Lord. And you will never mm. raise your voice to me again. Mm -hmm. Is that understood? Mm. Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. Say it again. Yes. Say it again. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <sighs> you will drive those demons from your head and think only of your baby. Now get out. As I've said before, the money simply isn't available. But you of all people should know that I have done more for you than anyone would have dreamed. Now, please remember that the harsh reality is none of us have any other real options.
You have a visitor. And at some point, you will explain to me how this boy came to be on this property. But now he endangers us all. So you're going to make sure that he's alone and that he leaves. Sister Susan is an excellent shot. And I can assure you, she won't be pointing that at you. Because I would never do anything to endanger my child. Now, let's go say hello. Mary Lou, as I live... <gasps> Look how big you've got! Oh, my God! It's okay. Stop. I don't want to see you anymore. You don't know what you're talking about. I traveled 300 damn miles to come down here and see you. Are you alone? Yeah. Nobody knows I'm here? No. Of course not. Good. I don't want you or anyone from my past to be part of my baby's future. Our baby's future, my baby too. And what, what? I'm confused right now. What, what's happening? Listen. Things are different now. Okay, so things are different. Just, just, just listen to me. I'm done listening. You have to go. If, if you love me, you will go. I don't understand. You're just like my father. You just wanted to control me. <laughs> That's horseshit. No, I didn't. It's over, James. You're, this is my life now. These people got in your head. No. Yeah. No. They, they've shown me what matters, and you're not a part of that anymore. Yeah. Go. Mary, come on now. No, my name is Agatha. I'm not going anywhere without you. I'm not leaving oh, no. without you. No, no, I stop. came all this no. way. Please don't make me go. No, it's not yours. It's not your child. It's not your child. You're lying. Come no, on. No, it's not yours. No, you're go, lying. Go, go. Go. Leave. It's not your child. Leave. Sent him away. They threatened to kill him. You didn't have a choice. At least he knows where you are now. It's poison. Paula's been waging war since she saw the first one. Not only for your time, but for your generous donations, which help to support our girls in their hour of need. Please take this moment to get to know each of them. Who shall we start with? Are you feeling better, sweetheart? Much. Thank you again for the help the other day. I wasn't myself. Yes, yes, of course. We all have our off days. Just one more question. We all have to work together on getting out of here now. Not, not tomorrow, not in the morning. Now. You, you can't. They'll hear you. Justin, hear me. Do you really feel safe in this place? Knowing that you have to deliver your child into this? <sighs> what? 
Sarah. Sarah, if you know something, please. I think they lied to me about my baby. His name was David. I gave birth and I heard him crying. I was excited to hold him. They took him out of the room. And the next morning when I woke up, they told me he was dead. I was drugged. But I know that I heard him crying again. There were no other babies here. And a mother knows the sound of her own baby's crying. So much talking from young girls vowed to silence. You must have so many more things you'd like to say. So many secrets you'd like to share with God. perfectly well what this is. My things? Well, yes, you're going to be needing them now that you're leaving us. Maybe, no. I don't have anywhere to go. I know. And it breaks my heart because I love you so. But I'm afraid I only have room for people who are loyal to me. I'm loyal. I am. I am. Are you? <laughs> I don't think you are. Loyal people don't wag their tongues, propagating hate and lies against the only person who's ever cared about them. I don't know how to do anything else. I know. You'll probably rot out there. I have no doubt. Paula, will you please bring Agatha to the dining room? You see, Sarah, what I am trying to do here is much, much bigger than anything you can comprehend with that sad little brain of yours. However, there may be a way for you to stay and keep your tongue from wagging against me. give you a few moments. Please make your decision by the time I get back. <laughs> Agatha, there is a reason that I command everyone to take a vow of silence. There's a reason for everything I do. Your continued meddling with the minds of these young girls will bring them nothing but pain. the doctor. Yes, mother. Get out of my way. Do you want to help, Agatha? Yes. Then hold her. Let me see, child. What have you done? Oh, you didn't finish. You monster! You monster! She, she cut her own tongue out. They're monsters. Shh. Just be quiet before they make you lose yours.
Sarah will no longer be sleeping here. She is being moved to a room of her own. You did this. He will. Just keep looking for the weak spots like we talked about. That's it. went into labor and came and got her a while ago. Take a deep breath. No. Where no, does it hurt? Something's not right. If you don't calm down, you're going to hurt your baby. Calm what? down. Come on. Go.
you killed me. Why did you kill him? Positively dreadful. You killed him. More insane ramblings. Killed who? Jimmy. Jimmy. He left. Don't you remember? No, I'm leaving. I'm leaving now. Is this not your signature? Fuck you. You see, more antisocial behavior. You're not well, Agatha. Mary. 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 My name is Mary. We have several witnesses that will attest that this is your signature. One of them being our own father, Andrew. Sit down, oh, Agatha. Don't you think you've wasted enough of everyone's time? Delusions, hallucinations, no. false no. memories, homicidal ideations, insomnia. These are very serious conditions, Agatha, which is why I also had you sign this. Power of attorney, because you are not of sound mind to make your own legal decisions. I own you and your baby, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. But for heaven's sakes, don't take my word for it. Um, perhaps you'd like to call somebody. Hmm? I don't think Jimmy wants to hear from you again. But perhaps the authorities. Yes, Paula, will you go fetch a phone for Agatha? We'll just wait. Thank you, Paula. There you go. Anyone you like. Yes. yes. I'd like to report a murder. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, this should be very good. Yes, by all means, tell them you've been spending time at the convent and sleeping in a coffin and attending midnight mass with faceless nuns. And by all means, tell them we forced you to go by the name of Agatha. All sounds a little bit crazy to me, don't you think? Yes. Yes. The convent. enough. Please help me. This woman murdered my boyfriend and she's keeping me hostage and... I'm so sorry, officer. She's not well. Please, he's upstairs. Ma'am? Maya? I'd be disappointed if you don't. He's upstairs. Sir, please. He's upstairs. His body was right there. What? They... They moved... They moved his body. <laughs> No, it's real anymore. I, I see things. That's not me. That's not my voice. I mean, I don't know how she did. I killed my brother. What? No, no, I didn't say that. I would never say that. I didn't kill him. He drowned. But why are you looking at me like that? He drowned. I'm not crazy. 
What happened to her head? She has a penchant for hurting herself. This happened shortly before you arrived. No, we simply haven't no, gotten anything up. Yet. She did this to me. She's lying. You Sometimes can see she's sleep. delusional. She was sent here. In there, you'll find a power of attorney. <coughs> she signed it over to us. <coughs> I don't remember. Over there. It's a sad case, actually. <laughs> the father of the child wants absolutely nothing to do with her. Paula, may I have Jimmy's letters, please? I could be dead. They don't seem to care. Thank you. There you go. That's not even his handwriting. Look, these are all fake. They're all fake. She wrote these. You see what we have to put up with. She wrote Earl, these. what are you doing out of the house? Oh. No. Are you okay, miss? Whoa, your head. No. No, he's a part of this. She controls him. She wrote, he's in on all of this. He's a fraud. He's a fraud. Sister, we got to get her to a hospital as soon as we can. Sheriff, the doctor was called shortly before we called you. He's on his way. <coughs> Earl, let's go to home, all right? Officer, I run a convent where the health of my girls is paramount. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave and go home and get well. <coughs> of course. <coughs> She's in labor. Take her to the basement. Mr. and Mrs. Wright, I have something for you. Paula? Oh, our daughter will love him. She wants to see you. She's here. Thank you, Sister Susan. Sister, would you ask Sarah to please bring me a glass of ice water and bring one for Agatha? She looks thirsty. This whole garden is teeming with rats and snakes. You're just going to kill me after I give birth. I don't have to. You have no idea how long I have waited for this. You can't run anymore. You have no connection to anyone or anything. You're broken and damaged. You've already killed one child. Now the only thing that's holding you back is your own selfish stubbornness. Can't you see, this is not for you. Wasn't for me either. You've seen what I'm capable of. What kind of a mother do you think I'd be? This is not who we are. 
Are you right? Of course I'm right. And there's a wonderful family just waiting to take care of your child. And pay you for it. The donors. You sell our babies. Do they know that this is not a real convent? Well, now, that's a matter of perspective. They don't know that my church turned its back on me. They do know that I am continuing to do God's work. It didn't take much for me to be able to stay here. Church didn't want a crumbling relic. So I continued to do their work. Only I'm turning a prophet. Susan, Helen, and Olga have become far too greedy. Sarah's too simple to be good for anything other than manual labor. And that, of course, leaves Paula, and I can barely stand her. But there are going to be so many women coming to me. I'm going to need help. Would I be paid? Well, of course, and handsomely. I always take care of everyone in my employ. I'm not running a charity. Do you have proof that these children have gone to good homes? Of course. This ledger contains records of every child that I've ever given away. As you can see, they're much better off than they would have been with their pathetic mothers. You have 24 hours to decide. Paula, please fetch Agatha some supper and then take her to her room. You are frustrated. I hear it in your voice. But you promised me that I would have at least until spring to pay. Mother, it's Agatha. It's time. I'm, I, I think it was just pain. I'm, I'm fine. It was just pain. I think. I'm sorry about the food. You all right, Agatha? Yeah. All right. Paula? Will you take Agatha back to the room and get her another plate of food? Sorry.
Sister Susan? Stupid girl won't know anything's different anyway. Yes, I agree. I'm leaving it up to you. I want you to start going now. I'll take care. Good night, Mom. Paula. Yes? When Agatha leaves, we're going to be empty. I need you to start scouring the countryside. No cripples, no heads. It's a little light this month. I regret to say this may be your last payment for a while.
Where's Paula? Did you take my money? You ungrateful son! Get your hands off me, you bitches! Stop talking! Damn you! Give me the baby. Paula, no. I have to cut the umbilical cord. Ah! <laughs> 
Susan! 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 Helen! Helen, please! Your name is... Agatha! Sheriff's Department! Thank you. 